Back to our breaking news now. Coverage of the deadly shooting tonight on Interstate 580. It killed an employee of the Alameda County Sheriff's Office. Live on the phone tonight by Sergeant J.D. Nelson from the Alameda County Sheriff's Department for the very latest. Sergeant, thanks for joining us tonight. Uh, tell us what you can, what you know about the circumstances surrounding this shooting on 580 earlier this evening. Uh, yeah, thanks, Ken. Uh, this is a, a very sad day for the sheriff's office as we learned today that at 4.30 in the afternoon, one of our recruits in the academy was murdered uh, while driving home from the academy on Highway 580 uh, right at the Oakland Emeryville border. Um, we don't know much what led up to it um, other than it just seems like another senseless act of violence uh, on a freeway. Was the victim in a marked car, and are you able to give us some specifics about who the person was? He, he was not in the marked car, and we're not releasing his name. We just notified his family, and as you can imagine, they are very distraught, so we're going to give them a little bit of time to, to grieve and process this. Uh, his, his parents are, are clearly upset. He has a sister and a girlfriend that was at Highland, um, and you can only imagine uh, what, what's going on there. I know you mentioned that the Highway Patrol is handling the investigation, but do you know whether or not uh, there are any indications this was a targeted shooting specifically because he was a recruit in the Sheriff's Department? I mean, there's nothing that says that as of right now. Um, again, CHP will be handling the investigation as it did happen on the freeway. We will certainly help them with anything that we can, and I'm sure we'll get help from the Oakland Police Department as well. And uh, to answer your, your previous question, he's not in a marked car. Our students do not go home in uniform. In fact, they didn't even know he was a recruit until after he had gotten to Highland, and they found some indicia in his car letting the CHP officers know that he was in our academy. So do you have any indication at this point, Sergeant, um, since the suspect is not in custody, do you know if there were witnesses? There were, as we were all traveling at that time on Interstate 80, head, um, I'm sorry, 580, heading westbound toward the uh, Bay Bridge Toll Plaza, uh, there was a lot of traffic. Is there any indication there were witnesses? Well, I'm certainly hopeful that there were. Um, anybody that was a witness to this, please call the California Highway Patrol or call the Sheriff's Office. Uh, after um, our recruit was was struck by the bullet, he, he did crash the car into the center divide. So there were certainly witnesses to that. Um, but we, we got, I'm not sure what happened just prior to that. You know, Sergeant, there have been a number of these uh, freeway shootings around the Bay Area, including in Alameda County, and, and I'm just wondering if you have any advice for folks. I don't know if you know anything prior to this shooting, if there was some kind of a road rage incident or something like that, but is there anything you want to let people know about how to stay safe on the freeways? Because, unfortunately, this is not an isolated incident. Well, you're right there, Ken. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a homegrown guy here. I've lived in the Alameda County my entire life, and uh, my family's been here you know, 100 years. And I've never seen anything like this. My family's never seen anything like this. And it's just uh, it's just awful that, that it has come to this where people just indiscriminately fire on people on, on the freeway. Um, and I, 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 I'm kind of at a loss for words. It just has really hit home today. It's just an awful, awful experience. Sergeant, as the investigation moves forward now with the uh, CHP in charge, how is the uh, handling of um, the relationship between the Sheriff's Department and the CHP? And how has that worked out between the two agencies? Well, we've done uh, many cases, you know, in the past uh, for, for decades. So that, that's not a problem there. Um, you know, they're going to be the ones that are going to try to you know, they know if there's video on the freeways, you know, we would not know that, you know, it's their freeway. Uh, but certainly we have investigators that we could help out with, um, as does Oakland. So we'll, we're going to do whatever we can do to try to put this together and, and, and bring some justice for this family. Is there any sus suspicion that the victim, uh, that the witness, I'm um, sorry, suspect may have escaped across the Bay Bridge because it happened right in that area as people were leading up to the toll plaza? Yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's certainly a thought, but 
that's probably better answered by the highway patrol because uh, they, you know, they're the ones that are, are lead on the investigation. Mm -hmm. Sergeant J.D. Nelson from the Alameda County Sheriff's Department, we appreciate your time and uh, the information that you can share with us. Our condolences to your uh, fellow uh, members of the Sheriff's Department and the law enforcement community. And uh, obviously, anybody who has information on this case, if they saw anything, uh, they are asked to contact the Highway Patrol. Sergeant Nelson, thank you very much. Thank you, Sergeant. Yes, please please call the Highway Patrol or the Sheriff's Office, and, uh, and uh, we, we sure like to solve this. All right. Thank you.